Coco is purring on your back The rise and fall of your breathing Is all I wanting to look So, did you two talk things out already? She doesn't want to hear anything I have to say, but I still try to explain myself. She will listen to you eventually. One thing is certain, that she loves you with the whole of her heart. She's in love with you. I don't think so, mom. She's really pissed at me for going. There is no woman you act that way to that won't be angry. I regret it in ways, but I was doing it for us. For us to have a better life. I know, and that's why I'm saying she will forgive you. But what happened over there, son? We are not as you used to be. Things got hard, mom. Very, very hard. That it became a problem for me to feed. Wow. It was that bad? Yes, mom. At a point, I felt like I was being punished for acting like I did. For leaving my family behind and not reaching out. You weren't being punished in any way, son. You weren't. Things got really bad. Very, very bad for me, mom. All the money I had vanished within a short period of time. Look at what became of me, mom. Just look at me. This isn't funny, girl. <laughs> Why isn't it funny? This is abuse. I hope you know this, right? Who is abusing who? My dad is abusing her by beating her. Yes, he is and you're meant to talk to him to stop. He's not meant to be eating his woman. I only told you this because it's you. I know, but you've got to talk to him to stop. Sure, your dad wouldn't like it if someone were to raise his hands on you. What nonsense did you just say? You heard me clearly. How would you feel if I was eating you? You wouldn't dare try such. Exactly. I wouldn't cause. I know it's wrong. It's not my business how my dad and his new wife handle their business. It's their own issue to deal with. You can't intervene. Imagine if she goes to report your dad. I don't care. It's even much better that way. But she's not going to do such because she's enjoying all of his money. Suffering and smiling. Yeah, that's exactly what she was doing. Although my dad shouldn't have hit her, I was shocked when I heard her cries and screams. But I was happy yet again that she was doing all this for his money. So she might as well get some punishments, you know? I should talk to your dad. Let's talk on something else, darling. How's everything going with you? Everything is going okay, just that I'm broke. You're always broke, Victor. There is never a time when you are not broke. You can as well call me Gold Digger, right? I think that's what I'll save your name as, my Gold Digger. I was surprised when I got the call that you are around. Good morning, sir. Good morning, James. My favorite in-law. How are you doing? I'm doing fine, sir. And you? Yes, I'm doing fine. What brings you here this morning? Sir, Judith has called me to lay a complaint. And what did she say? What was her complaint? Sir, she has said that you raised her hands on her yesterday. I raised my hands on her? She said that to you? So why are you here? Sir, please, I'm not here to cause any trouble, but to beg that, please, you don't beat her again. I know she can be stubborn. Oh, she's very, very stubborn, and that's why I had to correct her. Please, sir, not with violence. Are you calling me a violent person? No, I'm not doing that, sir. I don't think you should get involved in my family matters, in how I run my home. I don't want to do that, Chief. It's just that my sister, she's too young, and I don't want anything to happen to her. I've only loved your sister. You can ask anyone at home about it. I've brought for her all the whole luxury things, but your sister doesn't allow me to carry out my rightful duty as her man. She doesn't. See, just talk to her when she calls you again. Tell her what it means to be a wife. Everything okay with you? Yes, everything is good. How are you enjoying it back here? Am I enjoying it to you, James? See, I'm back here again. It's good to have you back though, but I understand what you're saying. I'm back to where I didn't think I would come back to. Come on, man. What are you even doing here, James? Still working here? What do you mean by me still working here? You know what I mean. You've got a wealthy man as your in-law. Why do you need to do this job here? Because I don't want to be living on my sister's sweat. Come on, your sister has been living on your sweat as always. And it's time for you to enjoy hers as well. How is she doing over there? I really don't want to talk about her. Why not? What happened? I don't just want to talk about it, that's it. You can talk to her to get a better job. And who knows, you might get me something doing as well. How's your young woman doing? We are doing fine. She hasn't something towards me yet though. It will take time for that to happen. You know she might cut off ties with you. That can't happen. She's staying with my mom. Have you forgotten? And she loves me. You did what was bad to her though. I hope you know. I know. And that is why I'm here to correct those mistakes that I've made. I just hope she forgives me totally and we come back to normal. Where's my baby? I left him home with his granny. I hope you left enough milk for him to drink before leaving the house because I don't want him crying of hunger. I left him with more than enough. Do you believe that his granny will allow me to live without getting enough food to feed him? 
How's everything with you? Everything is going on well. How's work going? It's going well. Have you checked on the boss? I've not done that yet. I came to see you first, but I'll check on him before I leave. Okay, because he'll be happy to see you. I wish he brought Prince with you. I'll bring him next time. Have you by any chance gotten Mr. Manuel's number? No, I haven't, Ada. He hasn't come by the hotel again. Okay, if he comes around, please don't forget. What should the kitchen prepare for you? I'm not that hungry. I've eaten before coming. I've got some news for you. Almost completed, but Ezra came back home last night. Mama Judith, this place is really lovely. Thank you very much, my friend. I'm very sorry I've not been able to visit you since you moved over here. It's not a problem. Hope you have been hearing from Israel. Yes, I have. He's even back to town. Wow, that's really nice. I'm sure he came to greet, right? No, he's back. He said it's not easy out there for him. You know how the country is for men in this society. I totally understand that. Look at how me and my sons were before now. But look at things now, my friend. You are very lucky. Indeed. I'm lucky you can say that again. How's my daughter doing? Hope you have seen her. I've not seen her yet. Giving her some privacy so she can enjoy herself over there, you know? Yes, I totally get. How's Johnson's body now? He's doing very fine. He's much better compared to before. He's able to move his hands now unlike before. Wow, that's good news. Why didn't you tell me since? I was saving it for a letter. How's market going, sales and all? I'm managing myself. It's been kind of low though, but I thank God. Hello, Judith. Brother, good morning. How are you doing, sister? I'm not fine, brother. I want to leave here already. I'm tired. I know. See, I just got off to work now and I, I've been able to see Chief. How did it all go? Did he agree? What do you think, Judith? Brother, I don't want to stay here. He's a violent man. I know he wouldn't allow me to leave already. You have to be patient with everything, Judith. That's what say, please. Why do you all keep telling me to be patient? Mom also calls and asks that I'm patient with everything. Chief is threatening to get us all arrested. How can I be patient with everything? He's always making threats. He also told me this morning that if we return all that he had given us, then I'll be free to do anything I want, free to live. There is no way you can return all he has given to us. It's too much. I can't keep staying here, brother James. I know you can't, but for now, be patient with everything, please. That's all I ask of you. I'm tired. What do I do if he tries to hit me today? Just try your best to be in your best behavior. Avoid all of his violent advancements if you can please, sister, see, this is a short while. You keep saying short while. Yes, it is a short while. Remember what we talked about on his health. I'm tired already of it all. I'll call you when I get home. You just have to keep being strong, sister. Hello, daddy. Veronica. Are you interested in us going to get lunch? I want to spend my afternoon with you. Is it time for lunch already? Yes, Dad. You've been working too hard in this office and you wouldn't let me help out. You failed at the little tax I gave you to do in the other office. I didn't fail, Dad. I got discouraged because of you. Did you go to the office today? No, I didn't. But I want to have lunch with my father. Let's have some daddy-daughter moment together if he's not too busy for me. I'm still working. So you're telling me it's going to be a no? You are meant to be in the office working and not here, Veronica. You don't want me around you. Is that what you're saying? I'm not saying that. As much as I would love to spend time with you, I want you doing the right stuff. That's what's going to make me happy. And you're also doing the right stuff, Dad? Like hitting a young girl? Veronica. I know you've got a good reputation here, but imagine how it would look like when everyone here knows what you're doing to that girl at home. <laughs> are you threatening me, Vero? I want to have lunch with you, Dad. That is just it. Ezra is back. Is that what you just said? Yes, Gina, he's back. Okay, and let me guess, he has started begging you to forgive him. Yes, he's begging me to forgive him and also explained himself. And you're falling for it already, is that it? I didn't say so. You don't need to say so. I can see it from the way you're looking, that you're falling for all his lies and you want to forgive him. No, I've given him already, but I've not told him anything. You're lying. I'm not lying to you, Gina. See, I've not been talking to him. I've just been listening to all he has been saying. That's the truth. And? Nothing yet. I didn't say anything to him. I'm confused about it all. What are you confused about? See, it is all written clearly on the table that you're meant to end things with him now or take the money he has got with him. I'm not interested in his money. 
You better be interested in his money, girl. You better, cause he didn't drop a dime for you and your son. He left when you needed him the most, didn't pick his calls, and how did his mom treat you? I need you to remember all this. I remember all of it. It doesn't look that way to me. It's like you've forgotten already and you're ready to drop into his arms like a fool. See, focus on getting the money you need. You need to get your apartment. I love him. Don't act foolish. It was love that got you to this point. I hope you remember. I need something else doing. Something like what? A side job? Yes, or maybe another investment scheme that will pay off. You're lucky you didn't invest your money after you got it. Or you would have gotten nothing out of it at the end. I know, man. But see, find something else for me to invest money in. Seems like you've gotten some money in somewhere that I don't know about. I've got nothing. You know how much I had when I left your house? Say, man, I know you need money. I also need money. I want to do better for Ada and my son. That's good. I kind of surprising to hear because I remember I didn't even want to go home yet. I saw my son and something moved in me, I guess. But I still need money right now. We all need money, man. See, I'm not happy with the peanuts we have been paid. But can I even do about it? Talk to your woman. Why do you have her in your life if she can't make an effort on things like this for you? Getting a job. She's a tough one. Stubborn with daddy issues. If you get what I'm saying. Hey mom. Welcome son. How was work today? It went well mom. How's your day? Hope it was fine. It went well. Israel's mom even came around the house. Okay. I see you had fun today then. I'm sure the two of you have talked on everything. It was good to have her around you know. And she said her son is back. Yeah, he's back. He's even working back in the factory. He's back to the factory as a cleaner. Yes, mom, he is. Things haven't been easy for him or anyone out there. I know, it hasn't been easy. His mom also mentioned the same thing. Well, that's by the way. You know he's married with his son despite things being hard for them. Yes, mom, I know. So, what is stopping you as well from doing the same? Mom, can we talk on something else? You first claimed that it was cause we didn't have money but now you have got some money on you. Marriage is complicated. Look at Judith and she for instance. I know you we are going to say that. How did it go with she? So, you sometimes come to the living room to watch television when I'm not around. Welcome, Chief. I see you've got some manners in you this evening. Does this mean that the massage I asked the maids to do paid off? I told you already that I didn't need any massage, Chief. You are still giving me the full tone I hate to hear. But that's not an issue. Just sit down. I'm going to my room. Your brother came to the office this morning to tell me some stuff. He said you had reported me to him. That I was abusing you. Yes, I told him. You told your brother that I was hitting you and making you feel like a maid in the house. Is that so? Chief. Have I ever raised my hand on you before now, Judith? I'm going to my room. I have nothing to say to you. My advice is you shouldn't try to do that. Because you wouldn't like what I would do to you this evening. And maybe this time it will be human rights you have to call. What are you doing here? I came to talk to you. But that's only if it's fine with you. If you don't want me here, I will simply take my leave. You can enter. Let us talk. I also want to talk to you. I'm so sorry, Ada. Please, I am truly sorry for how I had treated you. And also for how my mom had acted towards you. I was scared. All you had to do was tell me that you were scared and we would have discussed it all. I left to look for greener pastures for us. But look at me, back here with nothing. Nothing to show for it. That I had traveled to search for good. It's okay, Ezra. I suffered, Ada, and I think it's because I left you and my son all alone. That's why I couldn't come back home with anything for you. That's not true. Do you know that every passing day, all I prayed was that you're going to be okay, for you to be fine and remember home wherever you are. You prayed for me? Yes, Ezra, I prayed for you. That things go well and you come back home for us so we can all be that happy family again. I don't deserve your prayers, Ada. I don't. I'm ashamed of myself. Please forgive me, Ada. Please, I'm sorry for how I've hurt you. I can't believe that you went through all of that. I couldn't share this with anyone, not even mom. Wow, Ezra, that's a lot of stuff. But I deserve it for acting the way I did, I know. You don't deserve it, but what if things had gone well and you'd come back? I'm sure it would have felt totally different. The first thing I was going to do is build us our own house. So we'll forget about renting the house. Do you know I was there that day when the incident happened? You're lying. I swear it. I was at the side, crying out my eyes, too embarrassed to say anything or to even come out because I knew I had failed as a man. Not in any way. Look at me, Ada. Am I not a failure? I've got nothing to show for myself like this. 
not even a single cent. Nothing. Baby, things will get better. When? Is it when I'm no more that it will be better or when? It will get better, my darling. We are together and that's all that matters. All that matters is that idea money to start all over. To run a business that will bring in more profit for us to live comfortably. You want to run a business? Yes, I do. But funds are always the problem. We'll get money and bounce back soon, I'm sure. I really hope so, Ada. But I don't see that happening anytime soon. All my hope has been shattered and broken down. I returned back a worse man, a pauper. I'm without pride right now. I've got nothing. I know you are stubborn, Judith, but your stubbornness will lead you to nothing but more trouble for yourself. Does this mean you will hit me again? If I have to, I will not hesitate to do that. Or maybe I will just withdraw all of the treatment that I'm giving to your father. I'm going to my room, chief. You have no right whatsoever to discuss the affairs of my house with anyone. Not your brother, not your mother. Hell no, Judith. You are a wife in this house, and the affairs of my house stays in my house. You are lucky I'm in a good mood today. I'm tired of it all. I'm tired. Okay, pay me my money and then leave. But until you do that, you are mine, Judith, and you are meant to follow and obey everything that I say to you. If I should receive any call from your brother or your mom that you are complaining, you won't like what I will do to you. Am I clear? What are you going to do? You won't like it. And like I said, I'm done being a nice man to you or anyone else. I'm totally done. Now get yourself upstairs and get ready for me. I'm not interested, Chief. Stay away from my room. Bringing all kinds of unnecessary noise into my life, I will treat her like she deserves. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, son. How was your night? It was fine, Mom, and yours? It was okay. I checked you in the room this morning, but you weren't there. I was with Ada. We are both settling our issues gradually. That's good. I hope you didn't tell her about the whole experience. I had to, Mom. That's the only way she'll be able to truly forgive me. I wouldn't put my mouth in both of you issues. Not my business. That's not what I'm saying, Mom. Keep to yourself. Is this how Daddy was? He keeps stuff from you. He did, yeah, and I understood him totally. But like I said, I wouldn't meddle into you guys' affair. Did she give you some money? No, ma. Why not? I thought you told her everything, so what happened? She claims to not have money as well. She's lying to you. I'm very sure Ada has money. Do you know how much you both made from the guests coming to check on your baby? Well, she told me she doesn't have. So what am I going to do at this point? Then what's the use of you telling her everything? You should have been quiet on the whole experience you had over there, if she wasn't going to help out. Maybe she doesn't have mom, because Ada I know will always help me out, whenever I tell her I don't have money. This Ada is different. You won't believe all that she did to me in this house, if I tell you about it. So, this is where you are. Oh, poor Judith. What do you want with me, Veronica? Took you long enough to start calling me my name, as I expected. But I won't take that. You have no right to call me by my name. So you expect me to keep calling you my Veronica? Exactly, because I am your boss in this house. Remember, you are just a servant here. What do you want from me? I don't appreciate you bringing in your papa friends to my house. My papa friends? There is a stinky lady who came to see you, but I sent her to the compound to wait for you. You sent my friend to the compound to wait? Yes. And I don't appreciate you bringing in friends to my father's house. If I were to claim rights, I would say it's also my husband's house. What has gotten into you? Because you are not sleeping with my dad. You think you can be talking back at me when I'm talking. You call what's happening me and your dad sleeping with each other. Is this how people sleep with each other? By hitting the other person? You asked for this and you got it. You are paying heavily for the properties you want to acquire. And what better way than through violence? You can say all you want. But well, you see, I'm sure you will receive your own pound of flesh soon. And who is going to raise his hands on me? One of the stupid men you bring to the house We do that. Did you just insult my guests? Oh yes, stop drunkards and smokers who have nothing better to do with their lives, just like you, Veronica. Johnson, the sooner you are back on your feet, the better it will be, because everything is getting tired. Waiting for you to be back to your feet isn't an easy task. Your daughter and I spoke yet again. Seems like she's gradually forgiving us for what we push her into. But now she's faced with domestic violence at home. She hits her, beats her like she's a punching bag, and she's so fragile, you know. Although I've not seen her yet, I know she must have become a child of herself. Your daughter married off, and here we are enjoying all that she's suffering from. Like I could go on and on.